Welcome to day five of the 31 days of Halloween. I'm doing a vampire on this cute little kid. And I made a mistake in the very beginning and you'll see where I fix it towards the end. But right now I'm just putting a light gray color all over his face. I want to make him uh, pale. This is not a traditional vampire in the least. It is something that also Mandy Buchanan had requested that I do. So, need to credit the people who gave me these ideas, <laughs> so bear with me. But I cover his face pretty much all in a light gray color. And he likes to make faces at the camera and his mama that's behind the camera. And I'm just adding in that gray. Just filling it all in. Now I'm taking a crimson and brown mix that I made and I'm going into the eyes and giving it more of a definite defined shape I'm not going to line his eyes I don't do that on little boys all the time or little girls it just makes it a little bit easier but I did get him to look up and he was sitting perfectly for me to get just underneath to put that red there so it makes it a little bit more puffy looking I also took the same red and brown and I defined out the cheekbones and the temples and the forehead. Now I'm taking a little bit of black and I'm darkening in the corners of his eyes and the tops. It gives it a different kind of appearance. Excuse me. <coughs> Had to cough. I'm just going to leave that in. I'm not editing it out. Deal with it. So. Just blending that in and giving definition to the eyes, you know, little uh, frown ridge marks. So he doesn't have to frown if he doesn't want to, and it still gives it that appearance. And I go in and I uh, define out the rest of the areas too, even the cheekbones and the forehead and the temples with a little bit of that black. Sorry, coughing fit. <laughs> oh, jeez. Let me get something to drink. While you're watching this, I'll, I'll drink some of this uh, Mountain's Flash from Publix. Not endorsed. Just letting you know what I'm drinking. Uh, that's better. Doing voiceovers can be a problem sometimes. It kind of dries out your throat while you're talking so much but right now what I'm doing is I'm taking a, a little bit of gray on my brush that's a little watered down and I'm just uh, defining out the areas and smoothing them out a little bit more and adding in some details in different spots um, kind of hard to see not really that easy um, so I just wanted to add some dimension to it this is a nice quick design for the kids and it looks really good for them and they have a fun time with it. Now here is where the mistake was and I wipe off the whole lower half of the face because he wanted to be a skull vampire like the flesh was ripped off and the skull was exposed. So I'm removing that so that I can go in with white and create the shape of the skull. <laughs> and I'm going to give it do the top part and now I'm doing the jawline just smearing that white on giving it the appearance of a jaw. It doesn't have to be perfect you're going to go in with detail and really pop this out a little bit more anyways. And now I'm giving it a ripped appearance with a little bit of dark gray. So that the flesh looks like it's ripped off. And you get the skull underneath it.
I went with a little bit of light gray and went in and added some shadow to the different areas. He's staring into your soul. Then I took the black and I went in and I defined it out a little bit more. So we create the hollows and we fill all that in. I do the same to the other side. He likes to look at himself in the camera. <laughs> His mom has also taken some uh, behind the scenes photos, which she's going to give to me. And I'm going to post that on my Facebook business page later on. So you can see some of the behind the scenes of this. But it's fun to do. I didn't want to ruin the surprise, so I made sure that all my models knew that they're not allowed to post up any pictures of their faces until the videos come out. Mandy, I hope you're watching this, and I hope this is kind of what you're looking for. Now, if you notice, I'm taking the dark gray, and I'm doing the teeth just like I did on the bonus video of the first day. And this just is a quick and easy way to get those teeth to find out a little bit quicker. So of course I outlined them all in black, which you could see if my hand wasn't in the way. <laughs> and I'm doing the long fangs wanted to give them pretty long fangs. I didn't want to give them short ones. And I define those out first before I go in with the smaller lower teeth. Now I add the white on top. It kind of blends in a little bit as it dries. If it's wet, it'll dry and it'll blend in with the dark gray in the back and it'll give it more dimension. So, don't worry about filling them in completely because as they talk and as they move, uh, the teeth will fill themselves in and it'll give it more dimension. Now I'm going in and giving them some eyebrows because I thought a vampire needs eyebrows. So we give them nice furry eyebrows. Because every vampire needs furry eyebrows. And of course, the white specular highlighting that I do on every one of my designs. Now I'm going in and I'm taking... I watered down a little bit of dark purple and dark blue onto the back of my hand. And made sure it was very thin. And I'm going in and I'm adding in veining into the whole face. It just makes it pop out as something different. Like infected a little bit. So you see the veins popping out. And if you want them to really stand out a little bit more. Do multiple uh, colors on top. Blues and reds and stuff. Now I'm going in with a dark crimson color. And I'm going around the tear marks to give it blood appearance and it needs to be bloody like it was ripped off uh, vampires drink blood therefore they would have blood in them and it doesn't have to be black most of the movies and stuff still show it as red blood coming out of a vampire so I'm just putting it in areas where I think that the blood would come and you know it pulls down on the bottom of the jawline so of course I Put it there and like it's dripping off the bottom. And I'll also put it on the teeth. In just a second you'll see that. Boy, it's different doing voiceovers. I don't normally do voiceovers. So here's that little bit of blood coming off the fangs. 
And I started to stipple in some blood splatter. Right up around the teeth marks a little bit more. So, you know, it just gives it that appearance that, you know, he had just bitten into something, but it had, you know, ripped his flesh off too. And now I'm splattering that same red color all over. So it gives it a fine mist. Like, you know, when you punctured a jugular and it just a fine mist of blood just sprays you and there's the finished product thank you again for watching tune in next time for another video and i'll see you tomorrow make sure you subscribe like comment and share bye